I'm James Sokowski. Thanks for joining me for this free art lesson. We're going to talk about leaves here. See, I have this leaf here. This is called a lemon leaf, which is good for a floral painting. And these are grape leaves. So there, there are similarities, but there are differences. So we'll talk about those. I think for some reason, a lot of people have trouble with leaves. So let's talk a little bit about these. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna put them up there and we'll look at them. So we'll see the, the shapes are obviously important, but also the color, the, gr the greens are, can be difficult. So I'll give you some ideas for mixtures of green. Here's some lemon yellow, cadmium lemon with some cobalt blue. If we mix those together, we'll get a nice green. We'll call it a middle green, meaning uh, the middle between light and dark. Okay. And just add a little blue at a time, because it, it doesn't take much blue to tint that yellow. So that'll be, a, we'll call that the middle green. Now, here's some cadmium lemon yellow. We'll take a tiny bit of phthalo green, put it in there, and a little bit of titanium white. See how brilliant that green can be. There's obviously more yellow than green. More, that phthalo is powerful, so you have to be very careful with that. Now if I want a dark green, I, c I can take the middle green and add ultramarine violet to that. <clears throat> and ultramarine violet can come in a tube or you could make it with ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson. See, and we'll have a dark green there. If you mix it yourself, there's more blue than red in this. If it's too much, if there's too much red, it'll look brown, so we don't want that. Okay. And I've also mixed some gray values with titanium white and ivory black, which will control the intensity of those greens. Okay, so now let's just put something on the canvas here. I can draw with this darker green. So let's say here's, um, you know, this is a lemon leaf. See, a lemon leaf, you know, draw, draw the center line and then get the outline, the, the outside line as it relates to the center line. It's like a heart shape. Okay, let's take some middle green. And I put a little bit of gray in there just to kill the intensity. And we'll just block it in a nice flat color. See, that'll be my middle tone, okay? We'll get darker and we'll get lighter. So, Let's put a couple of leaves here. Remember, get the center line and then one side and then the other. Okay. All right, now we have to pay attention to where the light's coming from because that's going to help us paint the shape. And our main light is coming from the right. So let's get our darker green here. And see where this will fall. See, the, the leaf turns a little bit. It's turning in a little bit here. But... Uh, so there'll be a little shadow running along the center there. So 
Let's, let's also look at the veins in this leaf. You know, just, just look at the anatomy of it. And really, if we study that, it could paint anything. So, any, anything in nature. So, I think uh, sometimes we rush these things and don't stop to think enough about them. And then they, they seem like they're hard, but they really aren't. See, so there's a dark there. A little bit of a dark as it turns this way. And then we'll look at the, the darks in this leaf. So you put the center line down and then the veins there. That, that's the way I treat each leaf. Now, now we go to the light. I can go all the way up to this brilliant light, but I have to put gray in it, you know, just to kill that intensity. So, you know, the, the light will come down here like this. It's all based on the, the source of light, so the, how I paint the form. So. I think just from observation, this is this is painting what I see. You know, we paint what we know, we paint what we see. So I see how the light comes through here. It goes like that. And I know I better put the veins in there because that's going to help me get the shape. Now, right on top of all of this comes a highlight. And the highlight will be cool, so we'll, so let's put a, a gray on there for that. See the lights are are, the, the, are warm. The green is warm. Then the the light the highlight is cool. So think of it as almost like the sky. Now let's look quickly at a grape leaf. See, a grape leaf just has a different shape. And just, I think if we take our time and, and analyze that, then it, will, it won't be so difficult. See, here's, here's the difference here. It's, it's more jagged. But see, if I find the center line first. And then, you know, usually what's on the, the left side will be on the right side. Kind of an echo in shape. Of course, they turn and twist, and <clears throat> that might make it uh, vary a little bit. But uh, essentially, we want to look at that outside edge and go back to the veins again. Well, actually, I'll, I'll block it in first, and then we'll look at the veins. See, the, this grape leaf is a little cooler than that leaf, so I, put a, I could put a little bit more blue in there, a little more cobalt blue in that middle green with gray. Actually, some grape leaves even or warmer, they'll have some ochres in them. But uh, we're talking about the shape and how to get the character of the leaf. So the, the color, I, I could paint this in black and white, but the point is the character of the leaf here. See, so that's a cooler green, a bluer green. I have a, I, I like to paint these in my still lifes when I do grapes. And you can see those, some of those paintings on my website at jamesolkowski.com. See, so we'll get that going. Now let's, let's take a dark. So I have my dark green. Let's, let's throw some ultramarine blue in that, make it a little bit darker. And 
Find the center line first. Make this a little darker. See that this edge of the leaf is folding back a little bit. So we're going to get that in there. So th there's a, a lot of drawing to the leaf, I suppose, some drawing that we have to pay attention to in order to get the character of it. So then there's these little veins that go off of the main vein. See, and then then an another little vein this way and that way. This all adds to the character of the leaf. So. And this is turning away. So where it's turning, it'll be cooler, it'll be darker. Now let's go to some light. And for the light on, on this leaf, I'm going to take the middle green and just add a light gray to it because the middle green already has more blue in it than this bright green I made over here, see? So just light gray with the middle green will give me the light for this cool grape leaf. It all has to do with the light source though and where these lights go. So it's hitting right in here. There's a, a little bit of light there. Might catch the edge a little bit there. I'm painting with a loaded brush too. See, I'm not scrubbing around here. It, it's, uh, it makes the paint more fluid. Okay, let's go up a, a one more notch here, a little lighter, and I can increase this effect a little bit more. See? Th this will create a little more depth, a little more form. And then finally, if I take a little sable brush, <coughs> I'll take some, uh, I could take some ochre and green together, and maybe even a tiny bit of cad red light. See, then I can get a more of a brownish or sienna quality for the, the veins. Let's go over these veins again. So it gives a, a color vibration, but, but that's the way nature is anyway. So if we follow nature, we can get some pretty exciting things happening. And then the stem would come out like that. And it has a brownish sienna quality to it. So. Well, I hope I, I simplified that idea in this lesson for you. So I'm James Solkowski. Thanks for joining me.